And a good evening and welcome to Sabetha High School. The Blue Jays host the Bulldogs of Marysville. It's the second tip of the season for Marysville as the girls fell to Hiawatha 34-32 last night. Marysville boys grabbed the nightcap 63-27. I'm Bruce Deerking alongside Max Blasky. We'll have play-by-play coverage on KNDY. Marysville AM 1570 FM 94.1. Streaming at KNDYradio.com and on the Sunflower State Radio website and on our free mobile app as well. Bulldog home and away basketball games live a service of our KNDY Sports Booster Club members. We appreciate their continued support. Well, again, the Marysville girls tied the ball game late, 32 all. But I want the prevails 34-32. Marysville comes into their first road game of the year, meeting the Sabetha Lady Jays. They are ranked number four in the state in Class 3A. The starting lineup for the visiting Marysville Bulldogs, Bella Raider is a 5'6 junior, Bryn O'Neill a 5'5 senior, Haley Ingalls is a 5'10 junior, Maddie Cap a 5'7 senior, and Lindsey Dressman is a 5'8 senior. A trio of seniors and a couple of juniors starting for first-year coach Ben Wurtenberger. Assistant coaches are J.I. Horning and Tara Hager. For the Sabetha Lady Jays, McKenna Haberkamp is a 5'7 senior. Mary Luker is a 5'8 senior. Haley Scobie is a 5'8 senior. Jessica Gruber, a 5'9 senior. And Ken Batchelor, a 5'9 senior. Steep in experience starting all five seniors here tonight. Sabetha is under... Uh, Head coach Nate Bauman with assistant coaches Joseph Gruber and Clayton Channel. First meeting between these two teams this season. It's Marysville at Sabetha. We'll have girls action live. The tip off straight ahead. Farmers, they're the lifeblood of America. The men and women who tackle the toughest jobs to put clothes on our backs and food on our tables. They might do it quietly, but their genuine values and tireless work ethic are an inspiration to us all. Some might say farming is a thankless occupation, so that's why we're taking the time to say thanks. Farm Bureau Financial Services, protecting what matters most. Patrick Booty in Marysville is your local agent with Marshall County, Farm Bureau Insurance, and Farm Bureau Financial Services. Legacy Carpet Cleaning will give your floors a fresh-as-new look. Let their team of dedicated professionals tackle your carpet or tile cleaning. Your home feels fresh, looks great, and makes a more healthy environment for you and your family. Call Skyler Price today for an appointment and let Legacy Carpet Cleaning in Marysville go to work for you. Welcome to high school basketball. Good evening, everyone out there. Of course, we have the Marysville Bulldogs and the Sabetha Blue Jays right on our way. Thank you, Bruce Deerkin, for that wonderful introduction. Max Blasky with you on the call tonight. If you're with us last night, this Marysville team had opportunities. Of course, a younger team under first year head coach Ben Wurtenberger, but an opportunity here tonight against a tough opponent. Bruce alluded to it early on in the broadcast. Sabetha comes in ranked four in the State. So a senior-led team, a team that knows what they want here in Sabetha, a deep one as well. Two seniors will come off the bench. It'll be Marysville here with the first tip, and we are underway in Sabetha. Marysville in their road black uniforms and white numbers. Sabetha in their home white uniforms and the black numbers with some gold trim. Marysville works it around the top of the key here very nicely. Looking to get it inside, and they do. That goes inside to Bryn O'Neill. Kick back out to Raider. little trouble at the top of the key. It's going to go off the foot of Ingles. That's going to be the first turnover here tonight for the Bulldogs. Well, we said turnover way too many times last night. I caught Ben Wurtenberger, first-year coach, down uh, earlier tonight, and I, I said a lot of turnovers, and he just kind of smiled and said, that's not going to be unusual in the early going this season but something they'll have to focus on. And the unforced turnovers are the ones that really kill you from a basketball standpoint. On the defensive end, Marysville forces a missed shot. Good rebound for Raider there. Her first one of the night was very impressed with her last night um, getting to the board and getting those boards. Yeah, Raider took the missed shot by Gruber. Here on the offensive end, point is good. Haley Ingles has two points are on the board. Marysville's way leading here early on. Haley Ingalls, lead scorer, had 12 points for Marysville last night. Hiawatha working along the baseline. Good take along that baseline. Mary Luker takes it up for a deuce there as we are now tied here at two. Teams trade baskets. Full court pressure out there. Bulldogs left to right. Marysville breaks it easily. Another shot up and good for Haley Ingalls as she has both of the Marysville buckets here early on in this broadcast. 
She had an open shot in the lane. How rare is that against the Zabetha team? Both teams early on getting to the front of the rim. Just as I say that, here's a three left corner for Zabetha. Rims out. Offensive rebound is going to stay with Zabetha. Good looking shot there from McKenna Haverkamp, though, here in the corner as Zabetha resets. Up top here goes near side Haverkamp looking to get into the middle of the lane, looking to swing it back to the right side. Now back here near side. Marysville defense compacted tight in, not forcing the inside pass. There's a good hand and a good tip by Bella Raider. Hands all over the ball here early on in this game. Yeah, a little uh, bit of a turnover there. Penn Batchelor was the intended receiver, had double coverage down there on the man-to-man D. And a forced turnover on the ball out of bounds. Good job by Marysville breaking the full court pressure, but another turnover by the Bulldogs. As that's going to be McKenna Haverkamp getting to that ball again, forcing it to Bethel with the opportunity to tie or take the lead with a three. She may be a Blue Jay, but she scrapped like a Bulldog there. Getting on the ground, a few floor burns are welcome here in this game. A little floater into the lane. Good defense by the Marysville interior as they force a one and done early on in this game. Three men front on Mary Luker coming in the paint. Pass goes over the head. Intended Marysville receiver. That's already three turnovers for the Bulldogs here early on in tonight. Mentioned it last night too. Marysville what or turnovers were the story of the game. Looking to clean that up and here early on. A little off on their passes, not where they need to be. Need to clean that up. I don't want to say too much just a couple of minutes into the ball game, but this is a team for Marysville that matured coming out of a locker room second half, and they've matured again coming here on the road tonight. Going against the number four team in the state, the focus is extremely high here for the girls, very tuned in on the defensive end. There was a tough runner there. Jessica Gruber got the two to go. Big Coast player down there, 5'9". Of course, all starting seniors on the starting five for Hawatha. Experience on their side. Three ball on the way for Marysville. Down and out. Bella Raider couldn't find the notch. As that's another two for Haley Ingles. But she already has all six Marysville points early on here in this first quarter. What a great job converting the offensive rebound. And a good job by Ingles staying there in the low post keeping her position all the way through the shot. Three attempts on the way, no good, but offensive rebound, Hiawatha. Another three ball on the way, no again. Offensive rebound again, fought for underneath. We're going to be called out of bounds off Hiawatha as Marysville will take over possession. Yeah, Haley Scobie tried to salvage it there on the baseline, couldn't do it. Personnel adjustment, Dahlia Fry is first in off the Marysville bench. First substitution for the Bulldogs. We saw that last night, a decent amount. Want to get some girls some action. There's an errant pass stolen away by Hiawatha. Down the lane, two on two, fast break. Kind of slowed down by the Marysville defense. Shot no good. Good job there by the Marysville Bulldogs. Lindsey Dressman holding her own down low. Dressman on the offensive end now. Kicks it out to Raider. Marysville setting up the offense. Hiawatha in a 2-3 moving zone, three-man out front. It's going to be near side here. Raider in the corner looking to get it inside. Up top the cap, now swing around to the left, all the way back in the corner. Marysville offense very patient here early on in the game, looking to get the shot they won and not force anything. Just as I say that, probably a turnover that was a little bit forced, unattended, went off the hands of Scooby, couldn't quite handle it. Yeah, it was, it was one that got away. That's Matty Cap down there. But uh, Marysville was, was making some great passes on the perimeter. Man, man, pressure out there. Seeing the same thing they saw last night, but handling it so much more effectively. Unfortunately, yeah, spoke too soon. Now back on the defensive end where Marysville has held Savetha here four points early on in this game. Savetha leading 6-4, to four, just under three minutes left to play in the quarter. As Marysville forces another one and done. Very impressed with them last night of their ability to pull in the defensive rebound after one shot. And so far tonight, that is staying clear. Turnover, turnover again by the Bulldogs as Sabeth is off and running. Good job by Marysville getting back, though, forcing Sabeth to set it up. Here's a three ball from deep. It's going to be off left iron rebound Raider. Bell is just 5'6", but she was positioned well. Full court pass from Raider up court to Cap as when Maddie is not able to get that bucket to go. Unfortunately, one and done for the Bulldogs. Back comes Sabetha. Yeah, you're still doing high water from last night, huh? <laughs> it's tough. 
Short yeah. turnaround for broadcasters, it's punishment. And there's a three ball on the Memphis end. Mary Luker getting the three ball, five quick points for her. Good looking shot there from the senior. So that's a still in their half court man trap, liking to go at the corners, and that's going to force Coach Ben Wartenberger to take a time out. We're going to take it with him. We'll be right back here in 30 seconds. You're listening to Bulldog Basketball here on KND Watch. JD Construction wants to make your dream home a reality. Whether you want to build a custom home, remodel your current home, or add a new deck or patio, JD Construction can handle all your residential construction needs. They are also experts when it comes to agriculture and residential buildings. For small or large projects, consider a custom building from JD Construction. They'll give you high quality work while staying on schedule and budget. Contact Jared Smith at 785-353-2312. From start to finish, it's JD Construction. Back in Sabetha as the Marysville Lady Bulldogs are trailing the Sabetha Blue Jays 7-6 to six here early on in this action. All scoring for Marysville coming from Haley Ingles as she is 3-4 for four from the field early on in this game for the six points on the other end. Mary Luker with five, a deep tri- triple ball moments ago gave Iowa Sabetha the lead. Marysville on the offensive end now. Sabetha in a 2-3 zone. Marysville working it around, trying to get it inside. They do kick them back out, though. No shot attempt there for Marysville. Set it back up, top of the key. It is Ingles with the ball. Now they're going to go far side corner. Ball in the hand of Fry. Now back up top, Marys will reset, looking to get something into that high post region, that dead spot there in that 2-3 zone. Driving into the lane is Raider. Left-hand shot up, no good. There's Ingles for the follow-back, and no good. Ingles going to get her fourth bucket of the night to go. Not quite enough arch to get it over the lip of the rim. Good job by Marysville getting to the offensive board early on in this game, but not able to capitalize with those opportunities. We're going to have our first foul of the night here as Delia Fry picks up her first personal. Yeah, that's a big contrast to last night. The opponent had tons of fouls in the ball game, but uh, there were there were a, a fair number by this stage of the game on both sides. There's an easy two for Sabetha, but miss. Good job by the Marysville defense closing late on that play. Marysville now off and running, going to bring a near side. Now Raiders going to pull it back up and set it up for the Bulldogs. Swinging it around perimeter are the girls here. It's going to go near side corner. Ingles looking to get a shot up and good. That time they had they had double team pressure on her in front of her. She would fake right, shoot left, nailed it. Good job there by Haley Ingles. High score for the Bulldogs now as they regain the 8-7 lead. 40 seconds left to play here in the first quarter. Running hook, hook shot for Sabetha. Going to get that one to fall. Marysville back on the offensive side. You're going to be glad you saw Sabetha early in the season, stacked with senior experience. Those shots are going to fall later in the season. Wide open down the middle of the lane, going to the line with an opportunity for two will be Casey Rush. Rush is a freshman. She snuck in on the timeout. Uh, she had quite a few minutes last night. Played very effectively for Marysville was very calm for a freshman to knock down a pair of free throws in that game. First one's up and good for the freshman. At the different level of scoring to this Marysville team, lengthy freshman at 5'11", able to shoot it from the outside and the inside. And from the line here, two tonight, already our first made free throw had about seven of those last night. Nate Bauman sends a couple of starters back in. They checked out during the timeout. Second free throw is no good for Rush. Marysville still with a two-point lead. 20 seconds left to play here in the first quarter. Marysville in there, man-to-man defense as Hiawatha works it around the top of the key. Now it goes right wing, 10 seconds left to play. Trying to roll a pick and roll, top of the key, into the hands of Herder. Shot is on the way and good. The rebound is good for Sabetha. They're going to take the lead heading into break. It was number 30, Tim Batchelor, getting the three ball. Our score is 10 9 here. Sabetha leads. We'll be right back after the quarter break. You're listening to Marysville Basketball here on KNDY. United Bank and Trust has been fulfilling the banking needs of families and businesses in Northeast Kansas for decades. United Bank and Trust is always advancing 
and is excited to introduce a new and improved mobile banking app for your smartphone. Simply search UBT Mobile in the App Store and download. It's a mobile fast world, and so is United Bank and Trust, the bank for your future. United Bank and Trust, banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Free CPA in Marysville has built a heritage of trust and reliability with your accounting, tax, and business advisory needs through the years. Certified public accountant Marcus Fries, with over 25 years of experience, and his staff continue that tradition of outstanding service to you, the customer, each and every day. Free CPA, downtown Marysville. Back in Sabetha as the Marysville Bulldogs trail Sabetha Blue Jays 10-9 to here early on in this game. Start of second quarter, but a lot better start for the girls than it was last night. Wow. All I can say is, wow. Marysville trailed 11-5 to a Hiawatha team that wasn't the caliber of the Sabetha Ball Club. You're much in it. And what a, what a huge step forward just 24 hours later, gaining some floor experience. And the confidence, I think, has been the part that sticks out to me here early on. Ben Wurtenberger would say, this is a brand new program. It's not, the fundamentals are still there, but they're learning new plays. They're learning new strategies. And so he expects to be still in the learning stages and the baby steps yet here in the month of December. And getting that foundation laid is what this opportunity for these back-to-back games gives the Lady Bulldogs now, and especially against a high-caliber team such as Sabetha themselves. There's a long three ball all the way from Sabetha. It's going to be no good. Charlie Harder put that one up. Marysville controls possession, looking to break into the Sabetha defense. Consistently showing good effort on the boards. Haley Ingles pulls it down. Marysville's not allowing second, third shots. Marysville working it around the perimeter. Left side It's going to go come up top to Ingles, trying to get it inside. Can't work it around. Raiders going to put up a little floater on the left side lane. No good. As Charlie Harder comes, back, comes down with the rebound for Sabetha. Raider needs to be a factor, a second high scorer with eight points last night, but hasn't been the impact player that she was even last season. Four substitutions check in off the Sabetha bench. Mass substitutions for the Blue Jays looking to get some fresh legs on the floor as that pass was there and out of bounds. Sabetha or Marysville will take possession. Look at this side note. Seven seniors, five senior starters for Sabetha. Marysville has two. It is amazing what experience will do for there. There's Raider trouble in the corner with full court pressure, but gets out of it nicely. It's going to come here near side. Almost a travel from Marysville for being able to keep her feet down is Bren O'Neill. Shot on the way, no good. One shot off and done. Although off of Sabetha, it's going to stay with Marysville. And yeah, that shot by Bella Raider. Again, she's got to get a little confidence and get a few things to fall her away. <laughs> Lindsey Dressman will come in for the Bulldogs. Mason Raider, or excuse me there. Casey Rush will take a seat for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs still in possession, trailing 10-9 here. Another shot close in, but could not get it to go. So far, good job by Marysville. They're getting shots inside the they're inside the lane, and we noticed that last night. Not a three-point shooting team, but consistently getting to the rack. Yeah, Lindsey Dressman just checked in. The played at low, high percentage shot. Just didn't want to fall. Marysville back on the defensive side where they've been very stout here today. There's another three on the way for Sebessa. Shot off, no good. Controlled by Ingles. Another rebound for the junior there. Pushing the paces, Marysville now. It's going to go right side, little lane floater. Stuff the rim, though. Maddie Cap, she was she was planning to go a little further until the defender said no. Nope. Almost like hitting a brick wall. Good idea, but can it get it to roll? Marysville still trailing 10 to 9 here, six minutes left to play, second quarter against Savasa. Marysville holding their own against the four rank team here in the nation and do, or in the state, excuse me, and doing it from the defensive end here so far tonight. Speaking of that, there's a little runner down the lane. Shot is no good for Sabetha. Offensive rebound, though. Three-point assist. Second is up. No good. Third chance for Sabetha. Yeah, they're working the offensive boards harder as the game progresses. Long shots do lead to long rebounds. So it'll be interesting to see how Marysville tracks that. There's a steal and a turnover there for Sabetha. Just a little loose with the handle as Raider was able to come up with that steal. Quick pause on her end. There's a pass inside. We're going to have a foul on Sabetha going to be on 15 Haley Scobie. 
second personal foul for Sebastian there. On that defensive end, the Bulldogs have been doing a good job. It is going to be, like I said, interesting to see how they combat all the threes that Sebastian has taken. I think Sebastian has already shot up about seven or eight of them, one of them falling here in this game. Marys along the opposite end. Doesn't shoot a lot, so contrasting styles we're going to see here for the rest of the game. Marysville trying to get inside here on this 2-3 defense of Hiawatha. The ball's snug away, but it's going to stay with the Bulldogs, trying to get it in to Lindsey Dressman down low. It'll be Cap throwing it in to near side Dressman quarter. Dressman, two shots up and no good for Dressman as now Sabetha is on the push. Bring it up in a fury. Do the Blue Jays swing it around to the far side, second side of the floor, and that's going to be a foul on Ingles as she reaches over the top. Both teams scoreless three minutes of the second quarter. I was looking down at my score sheet. Surprised I hadn't called a score yet, but that is right. Casey Rush will come in for Haley Ingles. Bryn O'Neill will also take a seat as Grace Winkler gets some action here. We're substituting for this young Marysville team. Three ball on the way from Sedetha. That one's up and good. Mary Lukert with the three ball. Second one of the night for her. Straight on. Nothing but net at the bottom of that one. There's a steal there. For Sabetha, up and down the court. Layup's no good, but offensive rebound, Lukert. She's everywhere the last two possessions. Leah Lukert swiped the ball away from Grace Winkler, who just checked in. Backdoor cut there as Winkler gets another shot up and good. Starting to take control of this game. Sabetha's going to take a time out. We're going to take it with them as well. You're listening to Mary's Bulldog here on KNDY Radio. Whether it's a car accident, storm damage, or a fire, when the unthinkable happens, it doesn't matter if you saved money in 15 minutes. In this moment, it doesn't matter if your neighbor has the same insurance as you. In this moment, what matters is that your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind you have you covered. Please come see the girls on Broadway at Alliance Insurance, 785-562-2393. Reflections Hallmark is all about Christmas. Keepsake ornaments, signature Christmas ornaments, holiday greeting cards, and wrapping paper, gift bags, and box cards. Buy one, get one half off. Out with the old and in with the new as all of last year's Christmas ornaments are 75% off. Shop Reflections Hallmark, downtown Marysville. The Sebastian Blue Jays have jumped out to a 15-9 lead thanks to the sharpshooting of Mary Lukert. A three and a two moments ago have pushed this lead up to nine. Here at 10-9 at the end of the first quarter. Marys will scoreless here in this quarter, looking to get some offense going. But playing a lot better ball than they did tonight. Still with seven turnovers on the docket tonight, but a lot less careless with the ball, a lot less fouls, playing smarter, and just playing with some more confidence. Just like we mentioned, the number four team in the state. Full court pressure broken greatly by Raider there. She goes coast to coast, left-hand layup up, and no good, though, unfortunately, for Bella Raider. Nice job getting that ball down the court. She weaved through a lot of traffic. Uh, by right, should have had the basket, but she's, again, having a tough time getting it to fall. Bella Raider, 5'6", junior, quick with the basketball and decisive with her passes. Good little point guard there into the lane. We're going to have another turnover. That's going to be a travel called on Maddie Cap, eighth one of the night here for the Bulldogs. Second or third time tonight, Marysville's been able to get into the lane, but just Sabetha too good at sucking the defense down, not letting Marysville get anywhere, forcing some errant passes, some errant turnovers. Unfortunate for Marysville, needing to find a way to get the lid off the basket. Still trailing 15-9 to nine here. Here's another three on the way by Lukert. We're going to have a jump ball. I believe it's going to go over towards Marysville. So Marysville unable to corral that three ball rebound, but a good job forcing the tie-up regardless. Yeah, nice, nice hustle by the sophomore Grace Winkler there. Haley Ingles will come in for the game, into the game for Winkler. She has all her field scores tonight, four first quarter field goals. Needing to find a new offensive 
thread here. Raiders have some opportunities. Tough pressure here for Sebessa. Full court trapping pressure. Marysville with an opportunity. Three on two. Goes up the lane. Little runner shot on the left side. Wild. No good. And that's going to stay here with Marysville. Bit of a hurried shot by the freshman Casey Rush there. Good job breaking this Sebessa defense here early on with some struggles. Sebessa getting after them with the trapping 2-2-1 two, two, press. But of course, Point guard Bella Raider doing a good job breaking it, getting Marysville in some offensive sets. Marysville just needing to find a way to get the bus ball to go into the basket. Into the lane again, shot up, no good. Good defense for Sebastian. Now Sebastian's on the run. Left-hand side, here comes Luther. Good bounce pass left down in the lane, up and good. Alexis Hayden with her first two of the night, 5-7 junior. Good pass, though, by Luker. Really set that one up on the fast break. First score off the bench, Nate Bowman's gone 90. Just like that, we're going to have a tie-up that's going to go back over to Sabetha. Haley Ingles got low, deep position in the post, but wasn't strong with the ball, caused the tie-up on the shot. That was an awful quick whistle. Was an awfully quick whistle. Will send it to Bethesda's way. Marys will need to find a stop. Now trailing 17-9 as the scoring has gone dry for the Bulldogs here in the second quarter. who are trailing 10-9 at the end of the first. Sebessa working it around the top, using a lot of ball screen motions. There's a little jump stop, shot pop, and good. Mary Lukert with another bucket here tonight. She has been the offense for Sebessa here in this first half. Yes, double-digit lead for Sebessa. You're starting to see that uh, level of experience. Five senior starters, deep bench. They go nine deep. Starting to see some of that uh, come out with the expansion of the lead. Marysville doing a good job working it around. Tough position here, though, trapped in the corner. They get it out to Raiders off the key. Looking to go inside, they do, but a late steal again for Sebessa. That's going to be Haley Scoby getting another steal. Yeah, dangerous pass across the lane right there to Scoby. Threw it from the top of the key, tried to get it to the opposite block, couldn't find a lane. Another turnover, Marysville. Sebessa looking to extend their lead into the hot hands. That's a three for Alexis Bade as she knocks down a triple. That's going to force Marysville to take a timeout. Downtown, far sideline. Impressive. Marysville trailing 22 to 9. We'll take a quick break. Be right back here on KNDY Radio. Involved in the community. We believe in this area and we reinvest locally to help the local economy. First Commerce Bank, experience the difference. Member FDIC. You love farming through the good times and the bad, and you hope and pray your investments will pay off. Some of the risk factors you can control and others you cannot. That brings me to the importance of risk management. I'm Dave Savage with Blue Valley Insurance. With the right insurance plan, your farming operation will be protected against the loss affecting your crops, livestock, equipment, and property. Manage your risk with the help of Blue Valley Insurance in Lynn, Greenleaf, Hanover, and Marysville. Marysville Lady Bulldogs trailing the Sebessa Lady Blue Jays 22 to 9 here. 152 left to play in the first quarter. Had a tight game after the first one, but the offensive power of Mary Luker and just two seconds ago, Lexi Hayden with a three ball has really opened this game up for Sebessa. Yeah, four trays for the Blue Jays. There's a big difference. And I don't think Marysville's even attempted one here in this game. It's going to be tough to try and find an opening as Sebessa in their 2-3 defense really packing in that lane. Marysville doing a good job swinging it around. It does go inside the angle. Shot up. No good, though, but a foul will be called on Sebessa. That's going to be... Jessica Gruber was down there one-on-one -on -one coverage, and, and uh, Ingles turned right into her, but uh, played it well to earn a couple of free-throw opportunities. And an opportunity now to put some free throws down. First one is up and good for Ingles. She has all... Excuse me. She's got nine of the ten points for Marysville here tonight. First score, six and a half minutes of the second quarter for Marysville. Second free throw up and good for Haley, going two for two from the line. Three for four now on the night, but still trailing by 11. 22 to 11, Marysville trailing. There's a steal, though, by Bella Raider as Marysville turns it over. 
Raider going up the left side, trying to get into that lane. Kicks it out here near side with Marysville. Will pull it back out. Into the lane goes Raider. Little floater up and no good. She can't buy a basket here tonight. Still can't. Still can't. I know how frustrating that is. Rolled around the rim and just when it dropped down for her. Now back on the defensive side. Marysville in there man-to-man. Sabetha works it around the top now, swings it up top, looking to get a little elevator screen set up for a three ball. Marys will get us a good job, though, defending it. Twist down below with the post, right past her defender and up for another two. Alexia Hayden with her third bucket here of this quarter. Seven quick points off the bench for the junior. She has come on firing hot. Mary's on now trailing 24 to 11. 30 seconds left to play here in half. First half. Mary's still trying to get it inside to Ingles. Just can't find the seam there. Good defense from Savetha. And now finally gets inside to Dressman. Dressman turnaround jump shot. No good. One and done for Marysville. They were doing a good job early on in this game getting to the offensive boards. One and done a lot of the times the last couple of possessions. Nine seconds left to roll. Marysville trailing 24 to 11, but a steal for Marysville. Four seconds with a chance going down the line. That's Dressman. Stolen away, though, and not going to get an opportunity as that's going to be our score going into halftime. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back after just a second. You're listening to Marysville Bulldog Basketball here on KNDY Radio. For reliable trash pickup and roll-off service, call on Temp's Disposal. Containers sized to meet your needs for residential, commercial, and construction jobs. Always prompt and professional, Temp's Disposal serves Marshall, Washington, and Gage counties. Let them go to work for you. If it's their weekly collection schedule or one-time pickups for construction, moving, or cleanup, Temp's Disposal in Marysville is a phone call away at 785-562-5360. Napa know-how. Locally owned, locally operated, your Napa parts store in Marysville offers Napa parts and accessories, plus the tools, equipment, and supplies you need to get every job done right the first time. The right tools at the right price, plus Napa know-how. From your locally owned and locally operated Napa parts store in Marysville, Enans Automotive. Napa know-how. Right now, one in three drivers is cruising around in a state of skepticism about just how much value their car insurance company is delivering. If you're one of them, State Farm agent John Bannister can help you get to a better state. He'll talk with you, listen to you, and help put together a policy that has you written all over it. From cost to coverage, see John Bannister, 1022 Broadway in Marysville today, and get to a better state. When you roller, send for Schroeder. For complete body repair, see Jeff at Schroeder Collision Center. A family business for several generations, let Jeff and his quality crew help you with your auto needs. Schroeder Collision Center, 701 Carolina, 562-3546. First year, King Max Lasky back, seven, second tip of the season for Marysville as they battled with Hiawatha last night. Lady... Red Hawks prevailed 34-32 in that one. Marys fell off to a second start for a road trip of the season in a season tip-off for Sabetha here tonight. This Blue Jay, Pitt Band, entertaining across the way. A good crowd on hand for the early session tonight. Boys action to follow. Of course, my memories are two years ago we last played over here at Sabetha, and that was during COVID. And it was I and, and uh, Cujo Smith, the bus driver, <laughs> the teams, the coaches, I think uh, Hager might have been here taking some pictures. The cheerleaders, that was it. Uh, there was no one else allowed in the gymnasium. It was almost like working a practice session. Maybe my 40-plus years of broadcasting was the most unusual circumstances we ever broadcast under. And you felt like the whole night you should have you should have been quiet <laughs> because there was nobody else making a sound in the entire uh, arena. Hey, we've got a halftime score. Marysville trailing about the 24-11, but hung tight in the first eight. Down 10-9, uh, opened up with a couple more trays there in the second quarter. Outdistanced Marysville and held Marysville scoreless from the field in that second stanza. But still uh, very much in this ball game against a team that's probably a caliber above a Hiawatha team. Last night, Marysville battled with to a 18-13, that first half deficit. Here tonight, it's 24-11. 
and a good job by Marysville, though, give credit where credit's due. They started off strong defensively, and we talked about what changes were going to be made from last night to last to tonight, and we did see a lot of change, a lot of confidence, I think, in the girls, but they're in that second half. If you can't put the ball in the basket, it makes it tough then to play defense. We kind of saw a snowball effect happen, hopefully coming out of halftime. can get some shots up and get some loosened up on the offensive end. Made the comment early on, working the boards hard both nights was impressive, not allowing those second shot opportunities. Um, as, as the game wore on, you saw Sabetha getting a little more confidence, especially on those outside shots, scattered four trays in the first half. For Marysville, it's been the Haley Engel show. She's been hit offensively. And we're not kidding about it. Eight points there in the first quarter, two free throws in the second, ten points already for the junior. And just needing to find someone else that can put the ball in the basket. They've had opportunities, but this is still go down as misses. You can't put up points with misses. Yeah, Bella Raider's been the uh, the one that's tried harder than anyone else tonight, but hasn't been able to get anything to fall. And outside of that, you're not seeing the balance offensively that you'll need to see to, to compete week in and week out. And against a tough team like the Vesta is really two leaders on that team, you know, and no and no one over on that defensive side under 5'8". So a lot of length Marys will having to deal with. We'll see what adjustments they can make coming out of halftime. KK Firm Bussing, certified public accountants in Marysville and now in Seneca, are qualified and available to assist you with all of your income tax and accounting needs. Stop by and visit Ken Kike for Kent Bussing or their staff of certified public accountants and paraprofessionals. For prompt and friendly service, contact KK Firm Bussing at their two locations, 1100 Broadway in Marysville at 562-2100 or 508 Main Street in Seneca at 336-2400 to set up an appointment. KK Firm Bussing, where quality begins. Update your home today with a new look from Feldkamp's Furniture Mart. See their tremendous selection of living room, dining room, and bedroom sets and furniture, as well as bedding, accent pieces, appliances, and more. Flooring choices with professional installation are available to complete a new look from start to finish for a single room or your entire home. Financing options for any budget up to 24 months with no interest, as well as free delivery making buying local easy. Shop Feldkamp's Furniture and Flooring in Marysville today. Sabetha outscoring Marysville 10-9 and 14-2 in that second stanza first half lead 24-11 as the Lady Jays are led by senior Mary Lukert with 12 points including a couple of trays. Tim Batchelor has a tray, three points. Jessica Gruber, two points. Off the bench, Alexa Hayden comes in with seven in the second quarter. For Marysville, as mentioned, the Haley Ingalls show. The Marysville Jr. has 10 points, including two of two free throws. Those two free throws were their only scores in the second quarter. Casey Rush, freshman off the bench, one for two free throws early on. 10-9, so about the first quarter, outscored Marysville 14-2. Blue Jays lead the Lady Bulldogs at the half, 24-11. See what adjustments Marysville fans make, make coming out of halftime. It'll be interesting with the young team to see how they adjust to kind of getting walked in the mouth. So it'll be fun to come back here. We'll see Marysville Bulldog basketball, KNDY. Tension in Marysville is a leading national manufacturer and marketer of custom envelope products. Great career opportunities include operations, sales, customer service, accounting, tech, and administrative support. Go online to tensioncorp.com for the careers tab for more details on currently available opportunities and apply today with Tension Corporation in Marysville, an equal opportunity employer. Tires aren't all the same and neither are tire dealers. Find a dealer like Mike's OK Tire who carries Michelin and BF Goodrich tires. Michelin offers safe, fuel-efficient, long-lasting tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. BF Goodrich tires are built for drivers looking for high performance and aggressive styling. Next time you need tires, don't deal with amateurs. See the tire experts. See Mike's OK Tire in downtown Marysville for tires, repair, alignment, and service. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions, your farm and home marketing team since 1976. Let the family team of Tim, Tom, and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you in your real estate experience of selling or buying a home or farmland. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions is experienced in providing timely, professional, and honest service. Find them on the web at olmsteadrealestate.com or call today at 785-353-2210.
The Norris Motor Company in Marysville has a like new 2019 Chevy Traverse LT with a leather interior, just 31,000 miles. They have a 2017 GMC Acadia Limited priced under $20,000 and a 2014 Chevy Captiva. It's a local trade and awaiting your test drive at the Norris Motor Company. Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington offers sales, template, and installation of countertops, including quartz, solid surface, and Corian. Visit chromielumber.com or stop in 609 Carolina in Marysville or 200 Ballard in Washington. For your next kitchen remodel project, see Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington. Second half straight ahead, Sabepa Lady Jays leading Marysville 24-11. The Sabepa team in the preseason rankings, number four in Class 3A to a big seven league rival, Nemo Hall Central, ranked number five. Those two teams met in the what, sub-state championship last year, went 33-32. So uh, the rivalry continues, if we will. Sabetha's first tip of the season here tonight, hosting Marysville. Marysville girls fell short last night, 34-32 decision. Ayla Ingalls led scoring with 12. Bella Raider adding 8. Casey Rush off the bench with 5. Lindsey Dressman scored 4. Maddie Cap with 2 points. And Bryn O'Neill a free throw. Marysville here tonight doing a decent job against the number four ranked team here in the state. Of course, a tough test coming up next Tuesday going down to Valley High. Of course, we will have that call. And then back in the league play the following Friday, Clay Center will battle with the Tigers. Programming notes, you're going to find Marysville on FM 95.5 on Tuesday, in part because that's where we'll put the area games, uh, Valley Heights uh, being host, but uh, also got a K-State game here on AM 1570, FM 94.1. So do the do the saffron, find your way over to 95.5 on FM, on air online, on our mobile app, with all of the way games live of all Marysville High basketball. And with that, second half action is under a way for Marysville to be the same starting five that they started the game out with, trying to find a a line here in this tight Sabetha 2-3 defense. Of course, talked about the contrasting styles there late in the game. As two of the line, Bella Raider will go looking for her opportunity to maybe finally get going here in this game. Bella with not good luck. We'll go ahead and call it here early on in this game. Been able to get to the front of the rim and get some layups up, but nothing able to fall for the junior as the first one is a miss. Fouls? What are fouls? We've had so few here tonight. Almost forgot that was a part of my vocabulary after last night's game. Second free throw is up and good for Raider. She gets on the board with her first points of the night. Yes, a lot cleaner game played here for the Marysville Lady Bulldogs. Not near as herky-jerky, I think, is the best way I can describe it. A lot more confidence here on the offensive end, just running into a tough defensive team, but a lot more crisp running their plays, a lot more intense with their passes, too. A good job here for Marysville. They're going to stick in their man-to-man defense. Same thing. They played all game last night. Came out with it here in the first half. Worked for the first quarter. There's a nice little setback three, though. It's going to be short. Not enough muscle there as Luker tried to get the scoring going. Of course, she erupted for 12 points in that first half. Here on the Marysville side, into the lane shot. No good for Dressman. Dressman getting back on the floor. Excuse me. Ingles getting on the floor. Good hustle there from the junior. Engels and Scobie tied up. Jump ball gives the alternate possession to the Jays. But once again, Marysville able to get to the front of that basket and get a shot up on the rim. Just cannot buy a bucket here tonight. Trailing 24-12, just rolled under seven minutes. Yeah, if you're getting shots, if you're avoiding turnovers, those shots will start to fall as the season goes along. And that was probably the biggest thing noticed last night was when you commit a turnover, you don't even get an opportunity to put up a shot. There's a good defensive stop for the Bulldogs, one and done as Ingles comes away with the board. Kenny Haver camp. They're all capable outside shooters, and they're not afraid to put it up. Into the lane. Nice little turnaround jumper is good for Lindsey Dressler. Marysville has three here in the quarter, trailing 24 to 16. And you see him taking some pressure off Ingles, going to Dressman a little more aggressively here in the second half. Defensively trying to get a stop. There's a shot miss and a good rebound again by 
Ingles. She's going to get a foul called on Sabetha. That's going to be on Michaela Haverkamp, her first of the night. But a good, strong rebound by the junior Haley Ingles. Fought off two Sabetha defenders. Defensive board for Marysville, one and done again for the Blue Jays. Marysville bring it here right to left. It goes baseline into the hands of Matt, Maddie Cap. Now back up top into the hands of Ingles as she's looking to get it, working around the top of the key. A rough shot there. I think it's going to be off Sabetha. It is. Good job there by Marysville, but not to intend on their attack. Yeah, I'm not sure where Maddie Cap was going with it, except into the opposition territory. She was surrounded by three defenders. A quick pass there, but a turnover by Marysville. Good look there, threw it right into Ingles, quick off the inbound, but stolen away from or by Sabetha. That's going to be another turnover on the Marysville docket. Down the baseline, nice little floater there by Lukert, as she's going to get that runner to go. Marysville one done again. Getting the stop on the defensive end. Now switching that to offense. Turnover again by the Bulldogs. Beth on the run. Two on run. It's Lukert right side. Swings it over. Left side. Had trouble controlling it. So Beth is going to have to set it back up. Yeah, Raider, a, a, a pass that didn't get over the tall trees of Sabetha. Luker with a nice little Euro step into the lane, but not able to get it to go down. And now that's three back-to-back-to-back offensive opportunities. The best has had it right at the rim. There's our first three of the night. It's up on the rim, almost good. We're going to get an offensive rebound, but a jump ball. Maddie Cap ties up with Amy Scobie. Good hustle. Good hustle by the Lady Bulldogs here coming out the second half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. Still trailing by 10, 24-14. Good hands by Sabetha, but it's going to be off of a Sabetha player going to stay with Marysville. Good job by Haley Scobie getting into the passing lane there for the Blue Jays. Marysville keeps it here on their own side. Swing it out top to Raider as a turnover now for the Bulldogs goes the way of Sabetha. So gave them credit there early on in this game, but lately getting a little sloppy with the ball. Into the lane, a little floater was good. Mary Lukert with another bucket here tonight. Yeah, she's got 14 points. One man wrecking through 14 points from the starter. Had seven off the bench from Alexa Hayden. Haven't seen her yet. There's a bucket down and good. Haley, Haley Ingles with the bucket again. She has her first bucket of half. Building on what she was the only bright spot for Marysville offensively there in the first half. Yeah, matched her point total last night at 12. She was team leader. Turnover there by Sabetha. That's a happy beat. Forced the travel. Good job, though, by the Marysville defense. Sucking into the middle of the lane whenever Sabetha gets an opportunity to get to the front of the rim. Then Wurtenberger sneaking a couple of reserves in. Dahlia Fry came in moments ago. Freshman Casey Rush checks in. Getting a breather here with just under four minutes left to play in the third quarter. Straight into the post. A little free throw, free throw line jumpers. No good. Good shot, though, by Engel. As Lukert's going to come out of it with Sabatha up ahead off the hands of the intended receiver, Jessica Gruber, off the fingertips of her. And Marysville forces another turnover. I'm watching the coaches work with these younger players as they come out. They do the little checkout. They're coaching them as they come to the bench. A learning point every opportunity. You know, talked to Ben there a little bit, and that is the goal here early on in the season. Marysville working it around the top here, looking to get something into the lane. It's going to come near side Raider now up top over to Engel. Comes back near side almost. Went out of bounds off the hands of O'Neill, but Marysville keeps it into the lane, wanting to travel, but we're actually going to get a foul called. That's going to be on Jessica Gruber, her second of the night. A couple of Jays kind of stumbled and tumbled on Ingalls in there. Not a shooting foul, second personal on Gruber. Tough for the Marysville post here tonight. We talked about how quick the Sabetha defense will sink down and doing a good job here tonight. Dressman and Cap starters back in the Bulldog lineup. Marysville in AI formation on the left block. Going to inbound it underneath their own basket. Hits the cutter down the lane. We're going to have another foul. As sneaking into the lane, oh, we're going to have a travel. Yeah, I thought, too, there was contact all over out there, but it was the, the traveling whistle from the far side of the court. 
Marysville still trailing by 10, 26 to 16, 302 left to play here in the first third quarter. Doing a good job here coming out of halftime. We talked about some of those adjustments. What were they going to be? And offensively, they're especially at the beginning, trying to open it up a little bit more, take some pressure off the host players for Marysville. They got to be able to get some shots to fall. That's going to be the trick, I think, for this Marysville team the rest of the season is they're adapting, getting to the rim and getting close shots in there, but it's just getting them to fall. Good hustle there by the Bulldogs. That's going to be Cap falling on the loose ball, going to create the tie-up. It's going to stay with the best of a good job by the senior showing the hustle here on the defensive end. Hiawatha will inbound it under their own basket. It's going to be Lukert triggering it in for the Blue Jays. Inside, it's going to be tipped away. Good job there by Ingles to force the turnover as Marysville will now take the offense possession looking to cut into this lead. Raiders going to take a shot from up top. Three ball on the way. No good off the back of the rim. One and done, though, for Marysville. Marysville did a decent job there in that first half, first quarter, especially getting to the offensive board. Tough to get some shots there. It's a good take there by Mary Luther. She's going to get her second bucket here of the half. as a tough left-handed finish and one take is going to be good. Foul's going to be on number four, Brent O'Neill for Marysville as Luker will step to the line to finish the first fashion three-point play. So Marysville defensively here let Sebastian get right to the lane. They've been doing a good job at this. Mary Lucard, she is a heck of a player here tonight, already with two threes on her docket and getting anywhere on the floor that she wants. Three throws, though, missed as we're just giving her credit. Good hustle, though, by both Marysville and Sebastian. It will stay with Sebastian, or Marysville, excuse me, as Luker was not able to get the first free throw to go down. It's going to stay 26 to 16, Marysville trailing. A lot of player substitutions. You kind of expect that early in the season. Players jockeying for position, but I think both uh, both teams are going to be blessed with some pretty good bench strength. And what these early season games gives you an opportunity is to see what the players have to offer, and especially from Marysville's standpoint, going against his opponent such as the best would be a good measuring stick. There's a three on the way from Raider. It's going to be no good as once again she cannot buy a bucket here tonight. It's going to be one and done for Marysville. Now Sebessa is in control here offensively. They're going to swing it around the top here. Now off to the left-hand side. Trying to get it inside again to Luker, but Marysville doing a good job defensively shutting her down here on the wing. Marysville still in there man-to-man. Three-point attempt straight on. Down and out. Wasn't able to fall for Carly Herter. Of course, hit one there in the second quarter not to be here to third. Marysville with an opportunity to cut into the lead, still trailing by 12, 28 to 16, swinging it around this 2-3 defense of Sabetha. Staying here left side of the floor, now finally gets to the right. Raider with a nice little take and bucket. Good job, Bella Raider, getting to the free throw line. Harm and the bucket. Three-point opportunity for the junior. Yeah, and been able to buy that outside shot. Came in a little bit closer and made nice uh, work of it. Chance the old-fashioned three here. Two dribble shot is up and no good, though. As it'll just be the two points for Raider. One minute left to play here in the third quarter as the Bulldogs trail by 10, 28 to 18. Raiders on the defensive end. And yeah, they were down 13 at the half. Cutting into that deficit ever slows slightly. It does start here on the defensive end, but just with that getting lost with a little pick play, that's going to be Alexa, Alexa Hayden with her first bucket of the second half. Oh, they beat the defense bad on that one. Hayden wide open under the hoop. A little cross-screen action with the post down low. Marysville does bad communication. Easy two for Sabetha. On the offensive end, we have another tie-up here. A quick whistle again, but it's going to stay with Marysville. Good entry pass into Dresden, but Marysville, once they get it in the post, one move and trying to make that move work. Sabetha doing a good job of crashing down on the low post, suffocating defense here in this game. 
Marysville finally gets it in. The three ball on the way here. Left wing is going to be no good from Dressman, but offensive rebound taken down by Brent O'Neill. Three ball on the way. Raider going to get it to go. Marysville done offensively. 25 seconds left to play. Sedessa pushes the pace. Right side corner, swings it back out top, working it around the corner. Three-point attempt on the way. No good. Fight for the rebound. Off two or three legs, Sedessa's finally going to handle it with 10 seconds there. Marys will have an opportunity, but now one more defensive possession. Carly Harder had to fight to maintain control. She did. There's going to be a two on the way. It's going to be off the rim. No good as the third quarter buzzer sounds. Going into the fourth quarter, Marysville trailing 30 to 18. You're listening to Bulldog Basketball here on KNDY Radio. If you're 50 or over, it may be time to switch your auto and home insurance. The AARP Auto and Home Insurance Program from the Hartford is now available through the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville. Discover rates, benefits, and service designed for AARP members, plus extra savings when you insure both your auto and home. Call the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville at 619-6220. That's 619-6220. Or visit copelandinsurance.net. Certain policy features not available in all states. Applicants are individually underwritten. Hartford Fire Insurance Company, Hartford, Connecticut. The greatest investment a company can make is their employees. To kick off Landall's 60th year in business, they've implemented a wage increase of $1.25 per hour. Landall offers stable, permanent, full, and part-time employment with many occupation paths to choose from. Competitive wages, career advancement, and a wide range of benefits that include $2 per hour shift differential, 4% attendance bonus, promotions, raises, longevity, profit sharing, and Christmas bonus, paid time off, holidays, as well as comprehensive health insurance, $500 deductible, with vision, dental, company paid life, short-term, long-term disability insurance, 401k with company contribution, a safety glass and footwear allowance and fuel allowance, plus weekly paychecks. Check out the many opportunities available online at landall.com or phone 785-562-5381 to apply. Help make their 60th year the best one yet. An equal opportunity employer, vets and disabilities, welcome. Back in Sebessa as the Marys of Lady Bulldogs trail the Lady Blue Jays 30 to 18 here, but cut into that deficit. Was trailing by 13 there at one point in the first half. Three ball on the way for Sabetha. No good as Marysville has really clamped down on that three-point line here in the second half. Yeah, if you can slow them down from outside, they scattered four trays in the first half, but uh, all have been deuces so far since the intermission. That really changes the tempo of the game. And I think for Marysville offensively, as the season progresses, you're going to need to start having some girls hit some outside shots. The defense for Sabetha, obviously a very good defense, but as soon as it goes in, and there's an example right there, good interior pass to Ingles, but as soon as she was got the ball, three defenders from Sabetha. Yeah, yeah, it's crowded. They know that's where the defense can stay, and as a result, you're going to be up against opposition every time you touch the ball. Ball in the hands of Raider, right wing there, a little step back and a turnover there by Sabetha. Right in the hands of Luker, and she's going to try to go coast to coast. Left hand up, no good though for Luker. Offensive rebound though, Sabetha, they will reset up top. It is in the hands of Hayden. Three ball on the way here, right side shot, no good. Rebound taken in by Winkler. Should have been an easy layup on the swipe by Luker. Marysville on this offensive end trying to claw back their way. Down 12, 30 to 18. There's a nice little shot and pass. That's going to be Lindsay Lindsay Dressman getting her first two here of the fourth quarter. And they've had that play all night from the straight on three, a little interior pass to the free throw line. Just not able to get some of those shots home. Maybe that will open up this offense. Sabeth is going to take a timeout. We're going to take it with them. We'll be right back here as you're listening to Mary's Little Bulldog Basketball on KND Law. RX Drug Store in downtown Marysville is here for you with over-the-counter medicines for cold, flu, and allergy season and prescription drugs for more serious matters. They also offer curbside pickup and delivery services. Don't forget to bring in your new insurance card for the new year with RX Drug Store. 
KNDY Marysville, AM 1570, FM 94.1. KNDYradio.com, streaming on our website, Sunflower State Radio. And if you'll download our free mobile app, you can take us along all season long with live home and away coverage of the Bulldogs, a service of our KNDY Sports Booster Club members. Back to action out of the timeout. Marysville trailing only by 10, and that's kind of been the story of the night for the Bulldogs. They've got down by 10 or a little bit more all night, been able to claw within about seven, but Sabetha has kept them at arm's length here all night. A little 15-foot jump shot is up and good for Sabetha. Jessica Gruber with her first bucket of the fourth quarter, first bucket for Sabetha here in this quarter as well. Haven't seen all that much balance. This is for Sabetha Blue Jays to score. Little jump shot there by Marysville up and no good. Dressman got to the elbow but couldn't get it to fall. One and done for the Blue Jays as Ben Wurtenberger claps his hand. A little bit of frustration. They're working hard to Dressman. I wonder where Haley Ingalls has gone. I know they're putting pressure on Ingalls, but she had the first 12 scores. Well, the first 10 in the first half, 12 points on the night for Marysville. Looking to get a stop on the defensive end. There is a turnover and a travel for Sabetha. Good defense here near side. I believe that was Lindsey Dressman on the defensive assignment. Good job cutting off the baseline by the sophomore. 5.13 left to play here in this fourth quarter. Of course, the boys game immediately following about 15 minutes after our broadcast here. Opportunity for Marysville boys to start the season off 2-0. and Into the lane is Marysville. A little shot off the glass from Dressman is up and no good, though. One and done for the Bulldogs back on the defensive end. There's a quick pass inside, mishandled by Sylvester, but somehow gets it out from the three-point line. Shots up, no good. Marysville back to running. That was a hurried three. It wasn't even close. Quick three there by Sabetha. Now a turnover again on Marysville. Trying to enter into the post. Grace Winkler threw it right to a Lady Blue Jays. That's now over 15 turnovers for the Lady Bulldogs here in this game. And, of course, that was the story of the night last night, too, as well. Not crisp passes. I'm talking on that offensive end, and they showed it. Good job, good job here, though, defensively, as they force the method to become stagnant here in this fourth quarter, still trailing, though, 32-20. to Steal there, though, by Marysville with an opportunity going down the sideline. Pulls it out, tries to throw a long pass, no good. Ren O'Neill tried to throw it over the head of the defender. Now Sabeth is on the run, on the ground. I believe it's going to be Mary's with that, and it is. Some messy basketball there. Yeah, they came down hard and fast, two on one. Ren O'Neill did the best she could, break it up. Caught the better end of a situation as the ball comes out on the Jays. And a good idea there by O'Neill, but the 5-5 body just can't get it over the outstretched hand. 5-9 on that defender. Good thinking, just not perfect execution on that. 32-20, Marysville still trailing, just rolled under four minutes left to play here in this game. Looking to get it inside, it's going to go corner. Now it goes up top to Ingles. Marysville swinging it left side here. It's going to come back same side of the ball. Trying to swing it up top tips, but controlled by Raider. Raider swings it far side over to Gab. Now it's going to come near side here for Harder. And an errant pass again by the Bulldogs is out of bounds. It's going to go to Beth the ball. No, it's right where it was intended, third row on the far side. Kind of tough to throw it to your grandma setting over there when she can't shoot the bucket. Tough job here for Marysville. Needs to try and get a stop. Stop, pop, shot at the free throw line. It's going to be no good for Luther. But offensive rebound taken by Sabetha, finally controlling it, is Marysville. Yeah, good job by Lindsey Dressman underneath a couple defenders to grab that to after the second shot. Ball goes here near side to Dressman. Now goes in the corner to Fry. Almost a steal there by, Hunt, or by Sabetha, but taken by Ingles here now side. Now right side wing. Ball in the hands of Raiders. Going to come up top side Fry. Little Shot in the lane, up no good. Offensive rebound, Marysville, and second chance up and no good as now Lukert's running. Left side, one-on-one, Lukert all the way to the lane. Left-handed shot is up and good. Mary Lukert with her first bucket of this fourth quarter. 16 points tonight. 
Stepping to the line will be Luker, looking to finish the old-fashioned one-and-one play. Free throw up and good. Make it 17 for the senior. Got to like two team fouls on Marysville. We're late in the second half. A lot cleaner ball game being played from that defensive end. Maybe a little more intimidation you would look for. There's a take in by Raider. She's off. She should have been fouled. No good. Marysville back on the defensive. And neither team's been even close to the bonus tonight. There's another miscommunication by Marysville. Ben Wurzberger's going to want a timeout. We're going to take it just with him as well. You're listening to Marysville Bulldog Basketball here on KNDY Radio. Raising cattle is a business. And when your business needs a financial resource, we're a good company to call on. As your ag banking resource, we've gained a lot of experience over the years. Working with local producers, lending a hand. Talk to us. You'll be raising your livestock in good company. Citizen State Bank, Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. CJ Express Stores in Marysville and Frankfurt wish everyone a happy holiday season. Make CJ your last stop before you hit the road. With friendly and helpful staff, snacks, drinks, and premium dino fuel. Now save even more when you download the new CJ Go app. Safe travels from CJ Express with locations in Marysville and Frankfurt. Surprise the man in your life this Christmas with something he really wants. More power. Table saws, cordless drills, impacts, trimmers, and chainsaws. Perfect for gift giving, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber have Milwaukee and Dewalt power tools and accessories. Pull lasting holiday memories fresh from the flame of your new solo stove fire pit. Built for the backyard and beyond and great for any age, make a solo stove from Hometown Lumber in Marysville the number one gift on your list this year. Needing to find an answer offensively. Marysville trailing 27-20. Two minutes left to play here in this fourth quarter. Good. Bill, I'm sorry, Bella Raider tried to do a backdoor effort there. She's a lot shorter than the rest of the Sabetha players. Those, those arms came in on top and blocked it. The length of Sabetha has kind of messed with Marysville here a little bit. They've done a decent job on the defensive end now, extending out this man-to-man to almost half four. But trailing by 17, we should have charted a little bit sooner. And Abe Bauman's going to work the clock. He's got the double-digit lead. Just handle that ball, take the win, season opener. So Marysville defensively holding this team here so far tonight. 37 points, 17 of those points going to Mary Luker. Got to find the positives. Marysville stayed in 10-9, opening quarter, down double digits, 13 points to the half, but they fought back, um, even had the outscore, I think, in that third quarter, didn't they? 7-6. Mm-hmm. So there, there's bright spots. There's a lot of progress. Still a lot of work to be done, but you take it one step at a time. Get a lot of substitutions in here late. And a, and a lot of work in progress, too, and that is one positive about having a younger team is you don't want to have an excuse, but you know it might take a week or two to get everything figured out, and especially from the defensive end, I think communication is going to be the key for them moving forward. Uh, it's going to be a short turnaround again. You had a 24-hour turnaround uh, Thursday into Friday. You're back on the road Tuesday. Tuesday, of course, down at Valley Heights as the Mustangs host the Bulldogs. We will have that call on FM 95.5, of course, online at sunflowerstateradio.com. One minute left to play here in this fourth quarter, so that's a very content with running out the clock with a 17-point lead. Into the lane, it goes Luker. Now it's going to come back up top. I think it was hard for Mary Luker to give that ball up. She had a good lane run to the hoop. Uh, she's been their lead scorer tonight. A very impressive performance, but the uh, uh, strategy was keep the ball in motion. Pull it out and keep running that clock. 30 seconds left to play. Screen and roll here for Sabetha. Marysville doing a decent job staying with it defensively, though, not giving up. Still out there fighting. Still trying to get a score, score and a steal. You know, respect for a coach, too. You're not running the score up. You're up 17. You know where the ball game's at. 
respect the coaching ability and respect the defense here in Marysville. Ten seconds are about to wind down here on the call because Marysville is going to start off 0-2 here on the season. A tough way to start the season, especially as they lost by two last night. Dropping a tougher one here to the number four ranked team in the state, 37 though to 20. We're going to take a timeout. We will be right back here after this. You're listening to Mary's the Bulldog Basketball here on Candy Live Radio, 94.5. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express High away Marysville today. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. At Galloway Uyghurs and Brenniger, we're about building relationships, one client and one issue at a time. I'm Jason Brenniger, and I invite you to visit with me for any legal services you might have, including probate, estate planning, and trust administration. Advanced planning has countless advantages to your family, including greater control and disposition of your assets and tax issues that might come up. Call for a no-obligation appointment today. Check us out on our Facebook page or at gwblaw.net. Double the joy! Double the joy! Double the joy! Ho, ho, ho! We're doubling the joy this holiday season at Blue Valley Technologies. Refer a friend, and you get $40, and they get $40. Refer as many friends and family members as you can before the end of the year, and the credits will show up on your Blue Valley bill. Visit bluevalley.net forward slash double the joy today. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience. Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high-quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at bfmic.com. Jays defeat the Marysville Lady Bulldogs 37-20. A 10-9 ball game at the end of eight was a 24-11 Sabetha lead at halftime. It was the second and fourth quarters that did Marysville in offensively, just two points. In the second uh, quarter, both were free throws and a single field goal in the fourth quarter. Outside that, it was 10-9, first quarter, 7-6 Marysville in the third quarter. So ups and downs, ups and downs. It's early in the season. Season opener for Sabetha, led by senior Mary Lukert, 19 points. A couple of trays in the first half. Jessica Gruber scores six, Penn Batchelor with three. Alexa Hayden came off the bench with a strong second quarter, finished with nine points. Seven of those nine in that second quarter run. For Marysville, Haley Ingalls came high second night in a row, matched last night's performance with 12 points. Lindsay Dressman with four, They're trying to find an opening for her inside. Bella Raider tried all night, just couldn't get it to fall, wound up with three points total. Casey Rush, the only score off the bench, that was an early free throw. So about for 37, Marysville 20 in girls' action. Boys teams on the floor warming up. Tip off about 15 minutes away here tonight. Next action for Marysville at Valley Heights Tuesday. We'll have it live on our sister station, FM 95.5. Marysville back home hosting Clay Center in North Central Kansas League play. 
CKL tip off a week from tonight. Max, anything before we park ways for a moment? I want to do talk about the improvement of Marysville. I mean, you talked about the confidence level after last night's game, and I think you saw that offensively. It's just going to be a work in progress for Coach. You know, a younger team with a little experience there at the senior spot, but it's going to be tough when they run into senior-led teams and senior-experienced teams with a good overall idea of how they want to attack. And for offensively for Marysville, they're going to need to be able to get some shots up from the outside as the season goes on. Two good interior players in Ingles and Dressman, but when the defense can suck down to them, it makes it pretty tough for the rest of the team. Boys action coming right up. You're listening to Marysville Bulldog Basketball here on FN 94.1 AM 1570 KNDY. Archives of this season's football and the state volleyball championship games are available on our website at sunflowersdayradio.com. Follow the sports tab and you can download any of our live broadcasts, including all the playoff games and championship for the Axtell Eagles. Plus, tune Coach's Corner each evening at 520 as we visit the area high school basketball coaches, boys and girls, with high school basketball live on KNDY and KNDY-FM. Your sports leader.